So we've done image and video filters, but what if you want to change the output of your sound, the quality and the specific levels of your sound output, be that a microphone or music? Well, I've gone ahead and added an audio input capture down here. You can see if I go into the settings that I'm using my line-in microphone on a Realtek audio driver. And down here below my preview, I can see my monitor. So I know that the microphone's working. I want to add an audio filter to that microphone to change the sound slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the cog at the end of the mixer down here. It's a little bit small, but you can find it. Click on that and we're going to see lots of options here. I'm going to click on filters. We're now in, that's an old filter I added, ignore that. <laughs> we're now in the audio filters menu and we're going to add something, a filter to our microphone. I'm going to go down here, just like I did with image and video filters, click the plus and choose one of these filters from the list. Let's go through them one by one and figure out what they do. Audio move is a plugin. We'll come to that later on. Compressor. Now, compression is basically when you hear somebody on a podcast or a radio show and their sound sounds very, very well. Hmm. How to explain? It sounds very well. It sounds flat and everything sounds normalized and it's not, there's no pops. There's no compression is the filter that's used to normalize a input or an audio input to make it sound as professional as possible. It's quite a complicated filter to get right, and the settings are different for everybody, but we will go into this in more detail a little later on and get you that crisp podcast radio sounding voice that everybody would like. On to the next filter, which is expander. Uh, this is basically the opposite of compression. If your sound is too compressed and too flat, we use the expander to make it sound, well, more, you know, <laughs> bigger, louder. Uh, everything that you would want to be opposite in a compressed audio, we would use an expander. Again, another option that's complicated, we'll come to at a later date. One of the filters you might want to use right now as a basic user of OBS Studio is gain. If you find that your microphone is not loud enough, it's not capturing your audio at a loud enough range, you can add gain, add volume to your input. So you see here, if I reduce the gain, the monitor at the bottom of my screen only reaches minus 35, minus 40 at best. If I increase the gain, well, I'm maxing out the monitor. Holy moly. Let's put that down a little bit to like nine. Let's put it down to five. And here we're at minus 10, minus eight, minus six. So you use the gain filter to increase the volume of audio captured. Now be careful. If your microphone is on the lower spectrum, on the lower ends of the spectrum, this will also increase background noise. So just be very careful with your gain and make sure when you increase it to listen back to your audio input in a recording and make sure that you're not capturing more noise as well. Uh, invert polarity will come to at a later date. Limiter is a very useful uh, filter. Basically, if you find yourself streaming and sometimes you're screaming and sometimes you're whispering, you're going to want to limit those screams that, so that you don't destroy the headphones and earphones of your viewers. Basically, setting this threshold means that I cannot go above that threshold when I'm recording my voice. So let's say at the moment it's set to minus six. So on the monitor down here, it won't go above minus six. However, if I set it to minus 20, you'll see even if I scream, it won't go above minus 20 in the monitor here. It's being limited. Very, very useful filter if you are a shouter or screamer whilst streaming. We have move value. This is a plugin we'll come to later on. Noise gate and noise suppression. Noise gate is basically you telling OBS, right, I don't want you to capture any sound above this level, and I don't want you to capture any sound above this level. Uh, sorry, below this level. So if I set the close threshold at minus 40, and I set the open threshold at minus 10, the microphone will not pick anything up underneath minus 49 decibels and it will not pick anything up over minus 14 decibels very useful again if you have lots of noise limits in your streams and noise suppression if you have that grainy in the background whilst you're using your microphone noise suppression the perfect filter uh, you have two options here speed x which is a manual uh, noise suppression filter you will need to set this level to whatever your noise is at. However, to be honest, RNN, RNN, 
RN Noise is a more than capable noise suppression automatic filter and will get rid of that annoying noise in the background. Now, if you do have a low end microphone and the noise is very, very overbearing, you will, the RN noise will only do so much. You will need to consider getting a slightly better microphone, maybe even go for an XLR microphone with a mixer or processor. Um, but for now, RN noise will get rid of that pesky noise in the background. And that's it. That's a very short list of audio filters that you can use, but there are other advanced audio settings. Stay tuned for more on that.